Hello and welcome to today's video where we're going to be doing auto wreck in rank 10 in GBL. Um, so basically the team that I'm given by Niantic, I'm allowed to swap one Pokemon out but it has to share a type with the Pokemon being subbed in. So for example if I was to get, um, let's see, what's a Needle Queen? It's poison and it's ground. It has to either be a poison type or a ground type that comes into a set. So, moving into the first battle, my auto rec team is Lolan Muck, Lolan Graveler, and Needle Queen. Uh, we get a queue fairly quickly for this one. We get Muck into Pidgeot. Uh, so it's into a Gust Pidgeot here. So Muck should win this one. Um, straight Dark Pulse. I decide sometimes they let the first one go. So I go for the Sludge Wave here. Uh, get the shield, which I'm okay with. Uh, I get my snarl through on the charge move. Aerial Ace, I mean, maybe I could have no shielded, but with all the additional gas damage from Gust, it was worth just shielding it. Uh, and if Gust get through, so that's not great for me. Um, and the Dark Pulse, when I had a Sludge Wind, they left the Dark Pulse through, which is kind of annoying. But, so here I decided that you know, Pidgeot low enough, and um, I can come in and farm with Graveler here, and I come out with almost an entire Thunderbolt ready, for whatever comes in next. So in comes uh, Wigglytuff, so I build up just past two Rock Blasts, and swap into my Neoqueen, they swap into their Alolan Muck. At this point, I know Needle Queen beats Lola Nook here. We both have a shield and I have energy advantage. Um, he's going to shield the first one. It's hoping for a defense drop, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I will live a Dark Pulse plus the snarl it'll take to get to the Dark Pulse. He will outpace me. Um, but I get the poison jab through here. Which means I can kind of force the fake CMP if I wanted. Uh, which I do. So I force the fake CMP here. And the R power takes out a lot of muck. And the switch clock is nearly back up, and I want to get out as fast as I can. Uh, which I do. And I, Thunderbolt may have been enough here. But I just go for the double rock blast because it's just. It's just easier. You know, like I know double rock blast will do it. Whereas, if that Wiggly was anywhere close to a move, then I risk, you know, the Thunderbolt. So, moving into the second game, I have Charizard, Gyarados, and Mew. Now, if at any stage during these games that there's a uh, Pokemon that I don't wish to use, I can swap it out. I can do one swap per team of three, um, and the swap has to be, uh, has to share a typing with the Pokemon that's being swapped out. So here I get a Charizard into a Marowak. The first thing I'm thinking is it's going to be a Marowak double charm team or Marowak charm and muck. And they're very popular teams at the moment. So this Gyarados does not have Aqua Tail. Um, may have been better off putting in something instead of this Gyarados, but it is what it is. And the charms that they got through on my crunch may stop me getting a second crunch, which is slightly unfortunate. Uh, so I have to shield this Charizard here. Uh, don't have an option. And here, they still have their shield up. I built to the Blast Burn and beyond. I throw the Dragonfall. So I'm really hoping they shield here. And they don't. They call the bluff. At this point, I have to farm down. And I can't throw another move. Even though it means Wiggly will get a move and I'll have to use my shield. I'll be able to, I should be able to get to double uh, Blast Burn here with Charizard. So whatever comes back in is going to get hit hard. And they come back in with the Marowak. So I land the first Blast Burn and I get the second Blast Burn here. And I know this won't take it out, but I'll just quick swap my Mew in and hope for the best. And I get that through, which is perfect. And then out comes Alola Muck. If it was Clefable, I may have had a chance. 
getting to double well charge and coming back in with fire spin. But at this point, the game's over. You know, New doesn't live that dark pulse, and one scenario will take out Charizard. Even if I wild charge there and they didn't shield, it still wouldn't have done enough damage. Uh, since it's a hard battle here, and I get a Dragonite lead, and this Dragonite is awful. Um, I'm just going in just to check the moveset. There's Dragon Breath, Dragon Meteor. So, at that point, I was thinking, if I lead Dr Dragonair, this is a much better team. Uh, Aerodactyl is having Rock Slide and Frustration, as you can see here on the side. Uh, so, at this point... Yeah, I just uh, just go for um, go for Dratini, or not Dratini, Dragonair. Uh, it just it feels like it's a more balanced team with Dragonair there rather than a Dragon Breath, Draco Meteor, and um, Dragonite. Let's get the Beedrill lead, and I would have preferred Beedrill on Aerodactyl, but this still isn't a bad matchup. It's a lot better than it being on with Nine Tails. Uh, so I get the Aqua Tail off first here. It's going to do with chunk of damage to the Vedra but takes the shield which I'm okay with and um, so I'm gonna double sh I'm gonna shield here to match their shield and then they swap out as I throw the aqua tail which is a nice catch but I think no matter what came in especially yeah, this like I would have thrown the aqua tail into the electrode anyway and um, at this point, I know they've done three volts, which is they're at discharge, not going to KO me. Uh, it was just a case of Beagle swapped out. I had to swap Night Elves in. Um, get as good a matchup as possible for Night Elves. Keep it off the Beedrill. And I know I'm two charms off my um, Slay Shock here, and I just get it with one HP, which is amazing. And come back in Aerodactyl, and it just needed it. one more HP damage. My shield here, and it's a sludge bomb. And I'm thinking that may have cost me. So now then, this swap out quick, and I'm just trying to get to the rock slide. If I'd kept my shield, the sludge bomb wouldn't have had enough to KO me. Dark Pulse then would have been shielded. I got my rock slide off, and it would have been a cleaner win. Uh, I get the Aqua Tail here. And I know Akatel is going to be very close. I was expecting a CMP tie, but I don't know what happened there. Because I didn't get a Dragon Breath through, I don't think. But they quit out then. So This time I get Kangaskhan, Lone Sand Slash, and Lolan Doug Trio. As you can see, Metal Claw, Earthquake. That's not happening. <laughs> so I look up Grown and Steel options, and there ain't much there. Um. So, when I was looking at this, Magneton looked like the obvious solution here. And, um, the only thing I had to hope for was no Marowak in the, lead, in the back. If I get a fire, I have to get fire in the lead, because otherwise, I die. Kanga having a mudslap, earthquake power up punch, means <laughs> when I met this Charizard, I had no answer. I had to double shield Kanga and just keep clicking power up punch as soon as I got it, and hope for the best. So that was the game plan coming into this one. Uh, nice getting the mud slap through. You know, uh, power up punch shielded, it's always nice. But I mean, it's an uphill struggle no matter what here at this point. Because regardless of what I have, um, you know, an unsound slash and magneton with no shields in the back. It's going to be tough for them to beat any combination of two Pokemon with a shield. If they decide to keep the shield here. Which, I mean, I presume they would. Goes for Dragon Claw. It doesn't KO. And I get the Mod Slap that went through plus another one. At this point, I just had to pray the Magneton could farm it down, which it can. Um. And then here, the Volt Switch goes through, which, I mean, you'll see here in a second why that was important, because 
uh, yeah, I get to discharge off, but my mana discharge right now isn't thrown. If he had to throw one more Void Switch, I would have got it turn or two before. And uh, Magneton wouldn't have gone down. Without either taking the shield or dealing more damage, which then means A Slash is in a better spot here. Uh, eats a discharge. And I pull off the Bulldoze because they swapped half turn too early. And in comes the Tejiat. And I just need to get all these both punches off as fast as I can. Let the first one through. And I let the gust through here then as well. So whole switch and a gust getting through. Doesn't help my cause in this one. The shield here. At this point I recognise I have to fire him down. Um, and to be honest, even if they needed one more gust, I don't think I can farm that down in the gust. Time it would take him to get that gust. So moving into the next game here, which is the final game of the set. Uh, Charizard leaves, Kangas can in the middle, and my water gun synchronoid gold up in the back. So, I'm okay staying in here and catching the Shadow Bone on the swap to Golduck. Uh, the other reason I'm swapping in Golduck here is they're going to swap out AWAC when they see its water gun. And no defense drop is amazing, and in comes Clefable. Fantastic. This is the Marowak double charm team. If I rock synchronize, I know Golduck loses this. I've ran some of these sims before. I have a rank one Golduck, and I should lose this with one or two HP left on the Clefable. But the Clefable obviously missed the charm somewhere, or had lower attack, or, you know, misses a breakpoint or something. And in comes the second charm or Wiggly, but it's unbelievable. Winning back switch there was amazing. No in comes Charizard, who's Fully loaded. Uh, this one, maybe I could have gone Dragon Claw because they have two shields. They have no reason not to shield here. Um, at this point, I go one extra and they catch the Blast Bird. over farmed catch on the AWAC. Um, I have to get out straight away to keep all that health for the Wiggly. And getting that Mud Slap through is perfect. Uh, it's only a bone club, it's only got four fire spins off. At this point I have a very healthy Kangas can. Uh, so I'm gonna shield here and I'm gonna go for the earthquake, because I know that in the time it'll take Kangas can to faint. Wiggly is gonna be low enough to die to fire spins without Charizard fainting. So they're gonna call the bluff here, or they're gonna shield. They shield. And um, at this point, I knew he was probably three charms off. There's one, there's two, and that's the third. Live on one HP. If you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe for more Surf Arena and Go Battle League content. Thank you.